Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Nicola. Hello. Hello, Yvin. Hi. Nice to meet you. Me too. Okay. Uh, can everyone hear me? Okay. Uh, if everything's okay, let's get get it started. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us for today's webinar. Today, our focus is how to conduct bridge inspection using DJI M300 plus P1 and L1. Uh, my name is Irving, and I'm a solution engineer in DJI Enterprise, the professional branch of DJI dedicated to provide solutions to our professional audience. And I'm very delighted to have Nicola as presenter with us. Nicola, uh, general manager from AIVU Group. Next, I will shortly share our agenda for today. First of all, I will give a brief DJI introduction. Then we will have Nicola as presenter to share bridge inspection solution. In the end, we will have a Q&A time. Okay, just a little housekeeping before we get started. This webinar is being recorded and will be made available through a link later on to all the participants, but also to the people who registered but couldn't make it to the session. Uh, second, after Nicola's presentation, we will have a Q&A session to answer all the questions. So we invited you to drop your question in the chat box, which we will take time to answer in the end. Okay, uh, without further ado, we will turn the time to first presentation. Just a second, I will share my screen. Uh, can, you, can you see my screen? Yes. Great. Okay. I'll come down with the Jing Tong. Okay, um, well, uh, thanks again to all of you for attending our webinar. Uh, here I will briefly present DJI uh, company and solution. Here I have to mention my colleague Vic gave me huge help on this webinar and a big thanks to him for supporting. Okay, uh, let's go. Okay, DJI has entered the European market since 2018. After four years of hard work, our team uh, and all of your support, we have achieved good results. Now we got official office in Germany and Netherlands. Uh, European market has grown into uh, European, European market has grown to DJI largest global market. Uh, business here is also booming, 50% annual growth. Uh, and until now, we have more than 350 channel partners, uh, uh, which is pretty amazing. Thanks to all of you for the contribution you made. We hope to maintain a long-term business cooperation and build a, ma a mentally, uh, mutually beneficial relationship with all of our partners. Okay, uh, this slide is about uh, drone bridge inspection market, uh, market size. Due to infrastructure and technology development and government policy pressure, uh, the global drone bridge inspection market reached a valuation of 118 million uh, by 2020, 2023 and accelerated at 21.4% to top 996 million in next decades. Uh, obviously, it's a very potential and long-term growth market. Okay, uh, as our old friend, I'm sure most of you have knowledge of our products. Our products could be roughly divided into drone and payload and software. Okay, first of all, I'd probably say that now we got three flagship products with uh, industry-leading drone technology. Just a second. Okay, uh, M3 series, P1 
affordable, high efficiency. I'm 30 serious, tough and smart. I'm 300 RTK, multi payloads, long flight time. Okay, return to home page. Uh, speaking of the payload, here I would introduce this uh, DJI official payload, which has multi-function to meet uh, to meet different scenarios requirements. H20 series, H20N, and P1 and L1. Okay, and uh, our software, FlyHub 2 and DJI Terra and DTAT, uh, which is uh, very well known by by every dealers. So uh, I will move on. Okay, uh, here's uh, our product. Next question is, what can we do in bridge inspection? The first solution here is uh, Mavic 3 Enterprise. Mavic 3 Enterprise series can be carried in one hand and deployed at moments of notice. What more, omnidirectional sensing and APS 5.0 technology give M3 strong obstacle avoidance ability, so we can fly with peace of mind. In short, M3 is suitable in limited space, uh, like uh, like limited space under the bridge, like uh, like the picture here. Okay, uh, next solution is uh, M300 plus P1 and L1. Uh, Mount up to three payloads uh, simultaneously with a maximum payload capacity of 2.7 kilogram with high obstacle avoidance ability and multifunctional payloads. I believe M300 plus P1 and L1 is best option for high standard uh, bridge inspection. Okay, next slide is about uh, cloud API. Two key points here to be mentioned. First, Easy to, easy to develop, no more APP development. Synchronize the drone with your cloud platform directly through DJI Pilot 2. In this case, a uh, developer can focus on their own business without caring about the underlying flight logic. Uh, second, uh, privatized development. Via Cloud API, it's possible to deploy the drone privately and address data. Okay, uh, this is the last slide. It's about uh, our ecosystem. DJI Enterprise ecosystem aims to, uh, aims to encourage more developers to join and advance the drone industry by constantly expanding our aircraft capability for the benefits of all. Uh, okay, that's all from my part. Thanks for attention. After that, I will pass screen to Nicola to start the second presentation of the day. How to conduct bridge inspection using M300 plus P1 and L1. Welcome. Thank you, Vivian. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting for the right rules. We'll start mm -hmm. the bridge. Just a minute. Yeah. How about now? Okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone should start to see my my screen, I think. Uh, yes, we can see you. Okay, okay. Thank you, uh, everyone, for joining this webinar. Uh, I'm Nicola Marietti, founder and general manager of AV Group, a leading uh, sorry. company. Yeah. Sorry, Hello. Uh, sorry to interruption. Uh, it's it's flag screen. Uh, okay. We can check we why. Can so. Uh, could you could you please turn turn off and try to try to connect again? Um, okay, sharing. Stop the sharing. Okay, I give you again the segnalatura. Okay. You should be again the organizer. Okay. How okay. about now? 
Tak, schermo principale. Ok. It's ok now? Uh -huh. okay. Yes, please start. Ok. Ok. Uh, thanks again. I'm Nicola Marietti, founder and general manager of uh, AVI Group. We are a leading company in uh, solution for infrastructure inspections and monitoring using, of course, drone. I'm a computer engineer with a passion for technology and innovation. In 2012, I founded IU Group with the mission of introducing drone into the operation and maintenance processes of the major national asset manager. Uh, we are talking about power line, renewables, transport market, so transport networks, pipeline, etc. Today, our customers are the public infrastructure company and the top 10 enterprise in Italy. Last year, we operated around 1,200 days of field activities. This means an average of four activities for each day of the last year. This is the agenda for today. So after a brief introduction about uh, how you group, we will start to talk about bridge and viaduct. And we enter it deeper in the process for developing qualified results. So we start with data capture, then data analysis, and of course, data quality, that is the result of our job. So uh, we are, as I always I say in my presentation, we are enabled for the new drone economy. We offer at the end, uh, end-to-end -end model that provide inspection and measurement services with team on field, with remote operations or remote piloting, BP loss, and now also autonomous thanks to the new drone nest technologies. We have also developed software platform and algorithm for data analysis with our team of chartered uh, inspectors, so in expert engineer, we certify the inspection data by delivering validate reports to customer. The customer can then use this data for their own predictive and maintenance further analysis. This is a slide in which we see the main key benefit for our customer. The use of drone and infrastructure inspection has exploded in recent years. So we have, so have found this KPI thanks to the annual report of our customers. Uh, we see and we noticed a, a considerable uh, saving return of investment in maintenance activities thanks to the reduction of the personnel, the equipment, and the work organization cost at all. Uh, also, an increase of the sustainability index, uh, that is a current parameter for our public and uh, private companies. Of course, the drastic reduction of the accident to work, uh, the compliance with the in with the industrial uh, industrial digitalization plans, and finally, we we noticed an increase in the value of the corporate brands thanks to the promotion of the use of uh, innov innovative tasks, uh, tools, and factors. So, why we understand bridge inspection? We first are professional, so we are engineer, we are certified bridge inspector, of course, certified pilot. But also we are technology as per software developer and, and we love innovation, so we are 
also a R&I specialist. We have a lot of experience. We started 10 years ago with Bridge and Viaduct, and today we are managing multi-year contracts, uh, both on highway and railways in, in Italy using drone. More than 10,000 components uh, has been inspected by us in uh, the last years. Why uh, the bridge market is a real opportunity, as Irving uh, showed in the, in the previous slide? Uh, first of all, bridge are everywhere. Uh, when we are uh, on, on the field, on territory, we see bridge in, in an urban environment, a regional environment, of course, highway and railways. They are well-defined and classified object by the government agencies in uh, all the world. They are old. They have been built uh, one, 100 uh, years ago about, uh, I'm talking about uh, Iron and Mansory Bridge, and 60 years ago regarding the bridge in, uh, in concrete. So they are in a phase in which the maintenance is uh, really important for the quality of the structure. At the end, bridge inspection is uh, also a mandatory and procedure-related task. So uh, we perfectly know what we need to do. So around about the wizard inspection, we perfectly understand that we perfectly know uh, what are the issues that are necessary for the for the custody and also the visit the inspection are uh, scheduled uh, in a specific time timeline this is a, uh, I, I imagine an interesting uh, slide regarding uh, who is our course who is our customer because we are uh, we talk about uh, how to inspect a bridge with drone, but first we need to understand who is our customer and the referenced ecosystem, because uh, there is a complex chain of responsibility uh, inspecting a bridge. The owner of a bridge, in most of the case, uh, uh, guys, it's me, uh, it's you, every one of the participants of the of, of this webinar is the owner of bridge because uh, normally it's a public asset. So uh, we are the owner, but there is a, in every country uh, for sure an agency, a ministry uh, that is the formal owner. And this agency, this ministry give uh, the management of the bridge normally to company companies with the, with the task of keeping the asset in excellent condition according to well-defined rules. So the owner define the guidelines, the inspection rules, so the inspection form and the KPI. So the customer of the inspector at the end, the inspector with run at the end is the company who manage the, the, the bridge uh, and the, um, the, the company uh, will have to keep the bridge management system updated and they will need to support the agency in, into the audit phase. So when we talk about bridge inspection, we normally, as a drone service provider or drone pilot, are there and we talk with the company who manage that is um, that is uh, uh, needs to be compliant with the owner rules. In this slide, I want to show you uh, a schema regarding the the competencies and tools in every single step of the in every single task of the workflow of the inspection of a bridge. So for sure, we need qualified people and uh, on the field uh, those are uh, drone pilots and uh, drone service provider uh, company who manage big campaign of uh, inspections of course 
Then in the, in the defect analysis, there is the bridge inspector that needs to have competencies regarding the material in which the, the bridge is built, so iron, ancillary, concrete, and so on. And at the end, the charter engineer able to sign and sign the, the report for, for, the, uh, for the customer. We use technologies, drone and sensor, and we will see after uh, how, uh, how we will use them. Uh, on field, we, we, will use, we use normally high performance notebooks just to check if the capture of every single data uh, is complete or not. So we can elaborate directly on field uh, some result just I repeat, to understand if the, the, the work is complete or not. In the defect analysis phase, we use our high performance cloud uh, for um, detect, detect uh, defect in an automatic way. The software is uh, an important uh, tool for us. Uh, on the field, uh, we use structure formation software like DJI Terra and we have developed our microservices API able to be called by, um, in, in, by other, other software uh, for defect detection and uh, data management of the images, uh, video, and every, every information regarding the bridge. Now we enter in, uh, in, the, in the data capture area, how to fly for a complete bridge inspection. We normally receive two types of uh, service request. One is related to the pure visual defect inspection. So uh, we fly for finding defect, for checking defect and reporting defect, and that's all. Sometimes, uh, um, often in the, in the last period, we receive also the request for modeling the bridge for further uh, engineering uh, and project activities, or for uh, build again uh, the documentation of the bridge itself. Our pilots have a well-defined procedure for flight. The bridge is a complex environment because uh, it's not alone. Uh, the bridge is, uh, uh, as we say, it everywhere, and the environment uh, uh, can be uh, complex in a high level because uh, a bridge uh, could be uh, interfered with uh, other networks like a railway network under the bridge or vegetation or uh, uh, regional roads, uh, uh, houses and, and, and so on. So we have a mix of uh, planet, uh, so uh, automatic flight and manual flights. Due to the difficult that bridge stop the GPS signal, and so sometimes uh, the manual flights, it's mandatory for taking the information. As you can see in the, in, in the picture, we have planet flight uh, on the external part of the bridge uh, with different angles for shooting images or taking video, so 45 and 30 degree, moving from left to right and right to left, and up and down for uh, not having a whole or hidden part of the bridge. Then moving under the bridge, uh, we have the issue of the uh, loss of the GPS signal of, or poor GPS signal. So at the end, 99% uh, of time, it's a, it's a manual flight. Uh, with uh, camera on top uh, or, or bottom, and we fly around the component of the bridge. Uh, as an example, on the pier, you can see we create, we, we make a round trip 
around the circle flight around the, around every single every single pile and so for uh, and, and this for every every component under the bridge what drone we use for defect detection for sure m300 uh, for us is the state of art for bridge inspection because we can reduce the time on field with the double sensor flying with uh, h1 p1 uh, bottom up and so on no? and we are able to take uh, the most of the component of uh, of a bridge of course it depends of the highest of the of the bridge uh, the material and so on but at the end the m300 is our perfect machine for doing this work mavic 3 uh, is used when uh, uh, of course, the environment is uh, <laughs> is complex, so is uh, uh, is feature to be later uh, let us use them. We use it for for complex I repeat, environment uh, uh, where the bridge is too tall and so on. And the new entry, uh, the DJ Havata, is uh, is a it's a special tool for us because the bridge is not made only of uh, external and visible part there are also internal part of the bridge that needs to be inspected at the end we are talking about confined space uh, at the end so internal pier abutment and span reader are part of the bridges that need to be inspected also in internal in, in an internal way and we use the Havata for uh, taking information. This is a short video that show how we can be helped by the DJI Havata for taking information in a closed environment. So this is the internal pair. This is the internal part of the span gilder and this is the uh, uh, under road part of the bridge so the hydraulic pipes and you can see applying some some lights on the dj havata we are able to inspect also uh, those kind of environment I speed up the video, but this is a 200 meter uh, area. So you can see our pilot with the glasses making this pitch. I said before that uh, often today uh, our customer asked us to make modeling on the bridges and the l1 is a disruptive solution for that we are improving also the defect analysis using the 3d model for representing the defect analysis on the model itself so the customer can uh, navigate through the 3d model so the to the digital twin and have directly target all the defect uh, on the on the 3d model itself Another short video in which you can see the result of the pure uh, LiDAR activity on, uh, on the bridge. The quality of the, of, of the data is uh, tremendous, it's fantastic. You can see everything in, uh, uh, in this digital twin. The first time I saw it with my technician, I saw, okay, let me see the model, and they answered me, this is the model. So uh, it's, a, it's a really impressive. You can see on, uh, it seems to be there. So uh, disruptive for what regarding the visual inspection with drones. And we are working a lot with uh, those, this kind of uh, deliverable.
go through the visual defect uh, analysis. So we have captured the reality. So we have images, we have video, uh, we have uh, polling clouds coming from L1. We have developed a platform named Eye Inspection that is able to manage the data processing workflow. Uh, the drone, of course, uh, uh, acquires data. We are able, because there are some rules regarding the way to classify every information in a bridge management system. So we have a RPA that is able to uh, collect and classify every every images image in the in the right way. Then we have our algorithms that are able to identify the defect and uh, help the inspector to characterize and quantize the, the defects so or some parameters that are mandatory for uh, uh, delivering a qualified and certified uh, report. Of course, the algorithms are uh, uh, something that came from a, from a machine and no one will uh, accept uh, a, a digital sign from a machine, so it's necessary that a charter engine uh, verify all the information came in from the automatic algorithm and validate it. And so we are able at the end to report to the customer the quality status of the infrastructure. How it works uh, inspection? Uh, you have your drones, uh, you have your dog, the new dogs that we came, that will arrive this year. Uh, you collect data, we are ready to let you call our uh, analytics API for having back the prediction of the defect. So you can, uh, with our API services, microservices, you can create your own uh, report, uh, your own way to deliver the information. Of course, we have, we have also this uh, this service inside IV Group, so we are able of came starting from the uh, collected image, images to create uh, directly the final report. Those are the some of the defects that we have in place uh, in uh, in our microservices platform. So cracks, uh, rebars, spalling, uh, uh, hybrid version of spalling, water moist. Uh, uh, open concrete exposure, honey combing, corrosion, delamination, erosion, and we have built any day a new defect coming from the needs of our customers. So if you have some needs, specific needs, we can talk about it and we can deliver the result. Those are some uh, examples of prediction came in from visual prediction, of course, uh, the information are also structured. Uh, visual uh, prediction of, uh, of some defect on uh, some images. And I have prepared uh, through our uh, in web interface uh, an example uh, and uh, just to show you uh, what what's the time uh, of processing of those images. So starting the video and browsing and uploading the information, I take five images from, uh, from the, uh, the PC, put in cloud, this is the processing time, and this is the result. So a few seconds, and you have the result that uh, I have shown you in the previous slide. This is design, so the, this is our, our way for for letting us uh, see the see the see the images. So few seconds for having the result on predictions. Those are some example of how uh, someone can build 
uh, an interface just to let the customer or to let the engineer check the result and uh, accept them or integrate them with the new values or, uh, or, we cor or some correction, of course, so we are not perfect. Our defect uh, an, uh, API are around uh, 94, 95% of uh, accuracy. We are also tried with the accurate result to not uh, only uh, process uh, raw images with a hour defect, but we also uh, sent to our API the orthophoto of uh, uh, a complete uh, part of a component. If we talk about a pair, uh, we have an orthophoto of a pair, and so um, using uh, the orthophoto for the data analysis, we are able to represent in the 3D model also the, the defect itself because the, the orthophoto is uh, georeferenced. And so we have a, a faster, a faster a conversion related to the coordinated pixel to the, uh, the real co coordinate in the, in the world. Then we can uh, do some uh, uh, measurement regarding uh, the, the defect itself. Those are also other examples of how our customer request for some uh, some deliverables this is a this is a is a pier uh, more than 100 meters long every every square is a uh, one per one square uh, and the this is the representation of how the defect are uh, placed in uh, respect to the wool, uh, the complete uh, wool of the structure. Also, the digital twin for maintenance uh, are important, and one of our deliverables are, of course, point clouds, our 3D model, our cut of the bridges, and BIM. BIM, the information modeling, is uh, uh, today, at least in Italy, mandatory for all the project of new construction or maintenance of existing construction. So this is why the reason why we are uh, today often involved in delivering not only the, the defect report, but also the digital twin of the bridge itself. At the end, certify a report capturing the, the information, uh, making data analysis on information, we need to certify, uh, send the certified report. And the process at the end is quite simple. It's a matter of professionality and experience. So it's mandatory to have a chartered engineer that is able to see, sign and seal the, the report. Uh, he check and update uh, in case the, the defect parameters. So uh, he check the, if the defect type is the correct defect type. He check the intensity, a key value of the, of the defect. Uh, the same for the extension of the key value of, of the defect. And signing and sealing the, the report, the report uh, is sent to the customer. Of course, we send normally a PDF report and the structured data extracted from our platform, so they can import the, uh, the structured data directly into the bridge management system, uh, mandatory for, uh, for, for every uh, company. Uh, the data are updated in the bridge management system, and the bridge management system is a is a predictive and maintenance system for uh, for the bridge managers. 
and can be used also from the authority, if you remember the real owner <laughs> of, of the bridge, to make an uh, um, audit on the, on the company managers. So, we have seen the full workflow uh, step by step, uh, from capturing to uh, certified reporting, uh, I would like to close my, my webinar with a video in which uh, I want to show you uh, what we do every day. And this is uh, the use case with the highway and the railways company in uh, Italy. Hi, Nicola. Hi. Uh, do, we have, do, do we have music or background sound behind this video? We can't hear it. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Please tur turn on the sound button. Uh, we still can't hear any sound. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I, I can hear from you, but uh, this video is muted. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry, uh, there is a there is a music, uh, but it's not important the music. It's important the video. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> the, this video show every single phase of the of the process and with a evidence of the result that we normally do and normally the customer ask for a bridge inspection so at the end the spectrum report is the is the is the final deliverable that we send to to our customer and through the past the platform we let the customer check the the status of the work. So, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy the uh, this presentation, and thank you, Herbin, for inviting us. Uh, thank you, Nicola. Uh, it was very insightful. Uh, now we will take some time to answer the questions. Uh, a reminder, please be sure to type them into the question box in your control panel. Uh, till now, we uh, received uh, five questions uh, in English and uh, two, of, two of them in uh, Italian. So okay. <laughs> first, I will, yeah. uh, first, let's discuss about the English questions. The first. Okay. Uh, do you have a static or a signal loss? So, sorry, do you have? Uh, do you have I, a... I think this question oh, okay. might... Yeah, yeah, I, I see. Uh, okay, I, I found it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the, signal, the, the, signal, the signal loss uh, is, uh, is, a, is a matter of where the bridge is. Because if we are true to mountains, to hills, and so on, we have uh, for sure a, st a static uh, signal loss in terms of uh, area. So we don't do not have, and so we need to to act in a in a in a manual way for all the bridge. Uh, normally, we lose the signal when we pass through the the shoulder, the span shoulder. So we pass through. The, under the bridge uh, from one side to to the to the other one but because we need to make some some uh, um, some uh, uh, linear route also under the bridge uh, if the bridge is not so 
so white, uh, we are able to have a signal loss of uh, one to three seconds at all. Okay. Uh, second question. Do you use signal boosters or for the drones when flying in confined space or tunnels? Uh, no, 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 because mm -hmm. uh, uh, in a, uh, I, I think that the DJI engineer are a fantastic engineer. We tested uh, on a, a quite long range for, for us because at the end the infrastructure are not so uh, so so long uh, so are long but can be divided in uh, in uh, in more than one. Uh, Light. So we moved also for uh, 300 meters in an internal way without uh, without the need of uh, external antenna, signal booster, uh, and so on. So the, st the standard configuration of of, uh, of the drone. Uh, normally, normally uh, the signal booster is needed in confined spaces when the pilot is uh, completely, completely external of the of the okay. confined space, and uh, the confined the the area to investigate is uh, underground uh, six seven meters. Uh, this is the reason that normally we have a, a booster signal. Uh, to put in the hole just to be uh, closest to the to the starting point of the drone, but uh, bridges are not this case, and uh, we are able to fly without any booster signal. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, the third question is: AIVU Group proprietary anti analytic tools available for public use? Yes, yes. Uh, our microservices API, uh, we have a um, subscribing mode, uh, a plan, sorry, for, 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 this, uh, uh, for the, this, uh, this APIs. So uh, you can contact, contact me and we can give you every single information relating to the, uh, the service. We will uh, update uh, our we are creating our um, website dedicated for it. Mm -hmm. So in 50 days, uh, will be available. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think the official website later we can also find in the data email. Okay, next question is what about the signal strength of Avatar when inside of the bridge structure? I think we kind of uh, Answer it, answer it in the first questions. Uh, maybe uh, uh, could you please share more information about the signal strengths, like how many stars we can collect inside of the bridge structure? Uh, yeah, um, con uh, consider. Uh, I repeat, in uh, the 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 signal strange is uh, is strange <laughs> enough for every bridge we have inspected. Uh, there are some uh, uh, point of uh, start, uh, start, some starting point that can be planned and then the point that, that can be planned so to reduce the the the, the flight the, the flight range. Uh, normally, we create a, a mission of about uh, three uh, I repeat three hundred meter between uh, one flight and another flight inside the structure. There are some holes uh, along the structure, the bridge, and we use them for uh, starting and uh, landing. Uh, so we can able to do the full bridge in uh, three, four, five uh, uh, single, single missions. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Okay, the last English question is, is that the defect analysis AI sourced to external companies? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I, I think this is, is the same. Uh, yeah, um, public use. It, yeah, it's a public user and so uh, 
we will be ready to to, to present. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Okay, the last two questions is uh, in Italian. So uh, please, <laughs> okay. uh, Nicola, help us to translate it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, I'm searching them. Uh, is there a proprietary I can use? What about strange? Do you have? Do you have? Bonjour. Hello, hello. Okay. The, 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 the first one that start with bonjour. No, it, it's a it's a sentence. It's not. A, it's not a question. But okay. Uh, last scanner su viadotti non ci ha dato risultati molto precisi. Non abbiamo avuto riscontri con le terapie. Ok, uh, the, the question starting from uh, le nostre domande uh, from Mr. Bruno uh, are related to last scanner or, uh, under bridges and via uh, without uh, too sharp result. Uh, how, how can uh, you improve this? Uh, ok, uh, Bruno, uh, L1 is a uh, I repeat a disruptive sensor for doing such uh, acquisitions uh, and measurement. So uh, from uh, from our experience, uh, laser scanner from Terrestrian laser scanner have some issue on the bridges related to the distance and related to the orientation and the angles. Uh, they cannot take everything from from uh, from uh, from the terrain so the the lidar l1 is uh, sharp enough to have uh, one millimeter or two millimeter precision and have back the uh, total of the single components uh, related to the bridge Okay, um, Bruno is asking for uh, photogrammetric technology uh, under the under the span gilders of a, of a bridge that is sometimes simple and um, related to the to the type. Of the bridge, months, I think a month of bridge, uh, uh, a concrete bridge with the specific uh, uh, specific uh, structure like Kaiser and so on. Um, if you are talking about the difficult to take all the single pieces of the hidden part of the bridge yes uh, it's uh, quite difficult i agree with i agree with you but there is a solution and the solution is to use different sense or different drone to take those images uh, we, you have seen the uh, that m300 is fantastic for taking picture and taking data with the lidar uh, but it's big and so if we need to enter uh, or to to get closer some little pieces of the bridge we have uh, the avatar or we have uh, other solution for for closing this gap i think that this was the latest one in uh, in italian yes the last one uh, it's a compliment so i take it yes uh, thanks, Nicola, for the very patient answer. Uh, next question is: uh, Does AIV Group use PDRAS for the for their operations, or always applies uh, SORA uh, methodology? Methodology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, uh, bridges are a fantastic environment for drone service provider and drone pilot because they are uh, an obstacle to. An, an obstacle avoidance to other flying activities. So under a bridge do not happen nothing in the lidar light space uh, related to the bridge itself. So of course we make some sort of methodology related to the uh, cities bridges. Uh, last week we inspected a, a, a 
after this pan a bridge in the center of a city a big city in uh, in in italy and uh, we involved uh, the uh, the national authority the the um, the police uh, everyone uh, needs to be involved for inspecting letting us to inspect them eat with a, with a, with a, with the drones of course normally if we are in an environment uh, like this picture uh, we are the rule that we cannot uh, go up to the bridge so uh, we cannot go up to the parapet of uh, of the bridge itself and at the end the sora for uh, this bridge is uh, it's a <laughs> it's a it's a free area for us without uh, any request for no one so we can fly uh, very very um, we can fly we can fly uh, the second um, the second measure is that the uh, the owner of the bridge is also our customer so we are flying with for the owner of the bridge no, we are not flying for someone else and so we have all the condition to to do the job uh, in a in a very simple way in, in terms of regulation in terms of uh, uh, low altitude high space interferences mm -hmm. thanks okay next uh, does your company provide training for other companies that want to do the bridge inspection if yes where can someone apply for this kind of training and how we can acquire software tools for our company yes we provide training because we provide training for our customers themselves uh, we have <coughs> sorry we have trained a lot of uh, employee of our customers of course the bridge are a lot so there is a there is a, a business for everyone for us that uh, inspect the bridge or make the software there is a business for for who want to learn how to inspect a bridge and propose their professionality to 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 to, to, to other uh, bridge owners so uh, answering the, the the question yes we provide training everywhere uh now we are a worldwide uh, company and uh, we can uh, we can organize uh, training and we can organize also training and subscription on our software mm -hmm. thanks uh, next question how many days usually is required for an inspection for a bridge of one kilometers Okay, okay. This is this is the standard question from our customer. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it, 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 it's standard. Uh, one kilometer means uh, around. Consider that a span normally is uh, uh, 50, uh, 50 meters. Okay, so we are talking about twenty spans for a bridge of one kilometer so just to to make the calculation simple okay uh consider that 10 span are made daily so uh, 10 span on a bridge uh, is a daily work for 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 us uh, of course uh this is an average we can do more but we can do sometimes also less it depends how the beach is higher uh, if um, we expect the bridge higher uh, with an with an higher of two meters uh, until an higher of 200 meters so <laughs> the 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 surface uh, the the volume of the surface is completely different so it's not a a, a matter of how is long the bridge but uh, how, how is the volume of the bridge but anyway just to answer consider two days for a bridge of one kilometers mm -hmm. Okay, uh, next question is also about the training. Is AIV group training its, its own front pilots? And uh, is AIV group looking for front pilots? Yes, so we are always looking for pilots, for engineers, uh, uh, because our business is, uh, is growing. 
uh, every every year. We are happy to announce that we have also won a, a big tender in Italy on bridge inspection for the next uh, three years. So uh, we have a lot of job on this task, and of course we looking for for pilots, and we looking for uh, uh, collaboration related to the, the this topic and of course others. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, next, is it necessary to use D, uh, DRTK2 base to get more accurate accurate details in the bridge inspection? Yes, yes, yes. The, the answer DRTK. is a yes. <laughs> so we use we, DRTK2 yeah. to get more yeah. accuracy, yeah. Yeah, of course, because uh, uh, especially in the LiDAR uh, activities uh, for collecting all the uh, different uh, point cloud cleaning from different time of acquisition, it's mandatory to have a, 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 a perfect references on, uh, on, on field. Mm -hmm. Uh, next question is, uh, which drone would you suggest if it's connected with water body? Uh, sorry, uh, it is necessary uh, to, no. Uh, I can repeat again. Yeah, uh, which drone, yeah, which drone would you suggest if it's connected with water bodies? Uh, water bodies, uh, okay. Um, which drone would you suggest if it's gonna? Uh, and I think that uh, the, the, the Mavic uh, should be the, the right drone. Mavic 3? Yeah. Uh, Mavic 3 Enterprise. Yeah, 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 of course, the, the best one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay, uh, next. Uh, what would you say be the prerequisite in terms of hardware to process the big data? Uh, what, okay, what would you say be the prerequisite in terms of hardware for the big data? Okay, okay. Uh, it's, it's, uh, this word is, it changes every, every day. Uh, at the end, uh, we uh, have uh, um, well, well done, um, uh, Wu Station, for doing this job with big data. Big data are related mainly on uh, 3D modeling of uh, of a bridge. Uh, we are talking about uh, uh, four, five, six gigabyte of model for a for each bridge. So uh, an high performance uh, graphic interface is mandatory of, of course and we are talking at for uh, 64 gigabyte of uh, of ram and the latest processor intel processor that you can buy this is this is my hands where we we update our our book session every every six months uh, at the end for letting them have a performing result in terms of processing but starting from the beginning, we started with uh, with uh, ten hours, twelve hours of processing uh, of the first model last, uh, the previous year. Today, if you are talking about with the Terra, the J Terra and the lidar, the the, the result came in uh, in uh, in few minutes. <laughs> but if you are if you are making photogrammetry, you need to have uh, a lot of memory and a good uh, graphical interface. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, here is our last questions. Uh, in hindsight, what was your single best investment in drones, i.e., technologies, people, uh, compliance, etc.? And which one would you not do again with your knowledge? Do not again with you. Uh, best investment in drone technology people <laughs> are are uh, all best investment. First of all, people. 
people uh, is uh, the center of the of of the project. So without without people without people we we cannot do nothing. Uh, technology is uh, the the second one because the technology help people to do their job, and the DJI technology is uh, is a perfect tool for letting them concentrate to the result and not to the usage of the technology. So it's mandatory for us that people under a bridge or people managing data are able to concentrate themselves to, to the data or, or to the action and not to the tools used for the action. So with the drone DJI, we are free uh, to, to talk to, to check if the drone is flying, uh, flying good and uh, so on, because fly <laughs> without the it up and we concentrate on taking the the the, 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 the data the result and so, and so on compliance is uh, is the third at the hand in the in the in the list but it's mandatory also itself because without compliance on uh, customer rules and customer needs and compliance of the regulation of the of the drone and compliance I, I, I will add also the, the safety and the security operation uh, is the third, is the third, but not uh, less relevant than, uh, than the other. Mm -hmm. And uh, here I have to add a few more words. I can't agree more with your point. I think people is the most important because people in, uh, like create, create the drones and repair drones and the people's mind like come out some technology and good idea. Okay, uh, here's all of our questions. Uh, thank you again for the patient answer. Uh, okay, for thank the you. further discussion, we can find uh, Nicola in the via mail and uh, for the further discussion. Okay, I think we are good for now. We would like to thank all attendees for your time and interest. And we hope that this experience shared today was useful for everyone. Uh, and we conclude this webinar wishing you have a nice day and hope you hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Ciao. Yeah.